the house. Uh, we miss y'all. We thank y'all so much for tuning in. Which we've been gone for a yeah, almost. Word, they can't stand. Blank. 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 Make sure everybody knows that family is out there. You're around yeah. them and stuff like that. Okay, that's the same thing they said on We tour. are special people. We are God's people. I think it's very important that our folks sit back, stand back, be still. But if that's who you are as a people. As a people, okay, they can't even win an Olympics unless they got Okay, you are his pleasurable thing. Like Exactly. Yeah. People yeah. starting to make moves. But we need you that they're going to need whatever turn all these artworks or something out. He'll tight into the lifestyle that they live in. Uh, we don't want you going out there playing with him. It's the same thing. Separation you have. Now it's day time. Yeah. You won't have to separate. Already been prophesied. That will happen. Okay, because they, like you said, yeah. hey, yeah. you still got a little time. If you're able to, you just have to separate spiritually and mentally. And you start uh, rocking and rolling like you're supposed to. Hey, that's why you to the police. We know we're beautiful people. And the wife on here. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back. This is the Real Deal Fam. How y'all doing? I am Andre, and this still is the gorgeous wife, Essie. How you doing? I told y'all back in the States <laughs> that kids bought my girl about sign so I, <laughs> I had the extra D with this thing up. Welcome to Africa! Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm the boss of the show, but he is the head of the house. Ooh, they know that. They and know that's just the way it is. It. How y'all doing out there? We hope all the family has been doing terrific. Uh, we miss y'all. We thank y'all so much for tuning in. And uh, we just, y'all know how we do it. We love our folks, so we back to talk to our people. From Africa. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So there's a lot been going on. As we said in the past, there's a lot taking place. There's a lot of moving around. But we thought it was important to come on today and encourage our and make sure they understand that we love our people and and ain't no two ways about it we want to make sure everybody know that yeah if you haven't noticed uh you know we try to drop a little hints and clues and stuff along our journey which we've been gone for almost a year not just not quite but you know you we, we've been shadow banned it's all right because god works in the shadows he creates miracles why, in life why is that honey what's what's that bad word they can't stand Black. <laughs> so we're gonna make sure we stay shadow banned so can't nobody see us just like on twitter Okay, you are the salt and the flavor of the earth. We told you, and without you, they ain't got no flavor. Now they don't know how to find you. Okay, black. That's black, our keyword. So black, we stay black. shadow banned. Black, 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 black. <laughs> but if it comes between us and our people, we don't care nothing about that. We, we that ain't why we here. Uh, we here to support our folk, talk about our people, and the things that impact our lives, our children, our families. And we are blessed people. We just want to read reiterate that and make sure everybody know that family is out there and there's things that's taking place and there's moves that need to be made particularly right now i think the key is is separate and we need to clean uh what the lord told y'all you need to separate okay so they keep saying they got rights they don't want you around them and separate from them folks. That's your blessing. Right. And it, it, it could be physically, but mostly it, for us, we are special people. We are God's people. And so that we are to live a certain type of a way and we are to live with others who, who can understand that and respect that. Yeah. It's a mental and a spiritual separation. Okay. And that end up, you know, that ends up being a, a physical if you start following his rules and things he has set for you because you are a royal you are a royal priesthood okay he gives you the blood that gives you strength from day to day it shall never ever 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 die that's right it has to do with somebody who's divine mm. it has to do with divinity mm. Now, before you can talk about rites and passages or rituals, 
I think first let us define who we are. By it. We are people that I always refer as Abantu Abangoni. People who do not dwell into sin. Mm. People who are being placed onto this planet by the Creator. Mm. And these people, they, they have something that God gave them and put into their body, into their system. It is called melanin. Mm. Let me tell you, no white man has that. Mm. Only we, the people of this color, has that. And Bantu. That, Bantu people. Mm. And that melanin, it is something that uh, defines who you are. Mm. It connects you with the cosmos. Mm. It connects you with the waters. It connects you with, with the, the creator. Mm. And that is a software for connection. It is a software for connection. Mm. So it's mm. in modern yes, language. Absolutely. Mm. And, and that, when you are connected, the connection then defines your culture. Mm. It defines your traditions. Mm. It defines what we would, we, would, we would refer you as a nation. Mm. who is spiritual. Mm. Our mistake, mm. we have totally detached from that connection because we have assumed another identity By it. of the white man. By it. We are told of religions that are never Connect. connected to anything. to anything. Thus we have disconnected and we have lost the contact. Mm. That's why we bury in this way that we divine spirit, when you engage onto it, it elevates you into certain levels, certain categories where you are able to connect and build this friendship with the Creator. Mm. That's right. That's right. The Lord is our shepherd. We got to stick to Him. We got to clean. You got to be who you are. The folk out there, they, they doing all kind of stuff right now and moving around. I think it's very important that our folks sit back, stand back, be still, don't move quickly. People trying to encourage you to do all kind of things right now that might not be beneficial to you. But the most important thing we need to do right now is focus on who we are as a people and where we come from and where we're trying to go. I just think that people just can't believe to the extent that they will go in order to do whatever it is they're trying to do. But you remember in like every movie that they made, okay, so the reason why they make these movies that they tell you what they're going to do is because they have to prophesy. So they got to show it to you, tell it to you, and make, make it become a reality. Okay, so that's why God, in his word, he said, go and prophesy my word. Okay, their, their weapon is the actual sword, actual weapons okay your weapon is the lord the lord's word that's why you gotta go and sound the trumpet he's coming you gotta go and prophesy tell the people okay just like every king that comes to town <laughs> he sends people to go ahead of him okay and give gifts and stuff and tell the people he's coming and he prophesied tell him i'm coming Okay, Master Musa, he he went and gave gold all throughout africa told him he was coming years before he came and then uh, he came and it was a big to do. So that's exactly what the 144 is. If you ain't know, okay, you already that deep down in Revelations. You already had the 144. <laughs> These folks is telling you, hey, look out, you know, what? Sh how does chicken jive? That is the word of the Lord. You need to be reading it. We showing you other things that's out there because you going to have to chicken jive. Y'all going to have to act, take action and physically move yourself separate yourself from other folks so right you are right now you living in a land that, that is not your own you living amongst people that are not your people uh and that's easy to to see if you was in your word you'll be able to see because god gave you very specific things that his people are to do and how they ought to behave how they dress how they eat everything 
And and one thing that always get folk in trouble is idolatry and worshiping other things and all these kind of things. So you just want to be cognizant of that. It's, it's just a lot going on. We ain't trying to come here and preach all over you. But if that's who you are as a people, you need the word. You need to get in your word. You need to repent from all that foolishness that they got you in and find out and get back to your core. I wanted to bring our daughters so that they could hear about some of these women. All right, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I wanted to just uh, end the weekend with all of us lifting our voice in praise. I almost think that this is going to be the best event because the music itself is going to be off the wall crazy. in the beginning we were like oh yes hallelujah <laughs> what came next surprise everybody i said to bb you know what needs to happen he said got it and then it happened gospel singer bb winans stepped into the audience and started passing the microphone and i know the change is going over you bb handed the microphone to shirley caesar Oh, honey, it was over. It was all over. It was just over. I knew it. I knew you could not have Gladys Knight and Dionne Warwick and Patti LaBelle and Shirley Caesar, the mother of gospel music here. You could not have all of them anywhere and not have Jesus show up. Jesus showed up and showed out. Dion, can you take us down that wall? I'm changed, yeah. so changed, and I'm so glad, I'm so glad, so glad, so glad, so glad. Oh, 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 him from a special place. And now I walk in every day. These legendary singers. These legendary singers blew us away and not one note was planned or rehearsed. And they were passing the mic around. I'm like, oh, I hope they don't come near us. They were passing the mic around. I'm like, oh, I hope they don't come near us. It's so good for the change. From this day, we won't walk the same. We gon' walk taller. We gon' think higher. We gon' be better. It was so funny because all the white folks were like, what is going on here? My, my Lord, this is really something. <laughs> As a people, if we do that, y'all will start seeing powerful changes amongst us. You'll start to see things happening. Yeah, you return back to your spiritual gifts. <clears throat> anyway, we'll, we'll go on to that on another video. But <clears throat> the reason you have to separate is because you know they got to get a spanking. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> it has stole God's blessing, his his pleasurable things, his things he loves, okay? God in his simple area, he had a choir, okay? Who's the best singers in the entire world? Y'all already know. Who's the fastest per people, okay? They can't even win in the Olympics unless you, they got you, okay? That's right. That's Who's right. The, the people that could jump the highest? It, it's you, okay? It's you. You're the fastest. You you just everything you do is the best, okay? And um, you're the smartest. You invent all these things. You build nations, okay? You are his pleasurable things. Why do you think at every event and every ceremony they always invite you? You gotta, you gotta. Uh, basically, you are the gatekeeper. You are the watchman, not the mother people. It's <laughs> you. You gotta take God's blessing, all your singing, all your all your time. And you go to these idol things, these Grammy, the, all these things, and you bless it with your presence. That's why they always ask you that, because you were the gatekeeper. You be like, ah, oh, da 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 da. God's people, what they die and perish of what? 
they perish from being foolish. <laughs> that, that's basically what it yeah, boils down to. Yeah, lack of knowledge. Yes, you don't know who yes. you are, and you don't know what you're supposed to be keeping sacred. Exactly, and most of that, because we were asleep for a long time, we was punished, we fell off, we got into other things, just like the times are now. So now there's knowledge is being spread, people are coming to, to understand who they are and where they come from, and you see a certain amount of people starting to make moves, but we still have our few that's lost in trying to continue to uh, encourage other folk to do stuff that's not our people. Folk. Right, so if you know your kid, you got a couple of kids and they sitting together close on the couch and somebody finna get towed up to pieces <laughs> and you tell them to move separate okay that's your brethren but you still need to separate but if you don't separate you gonna get what what they got yeah, coming you get to a little collateral with them. then you gonna run off okay but the person's still gonna get it so that's why they say that in the end times they cleave to Judah. They're gonna cleave to you because you they feel like you're gonna help save them and stuff. But you've already saved them. You've been in there like every war and help win. You've been doing all these things already, but it's not your land. These ain't your people. You got to go back. They got to return you. So you wanna know why they're returning all these artworks and stuff to Africa. It's hot potato. Who, who's who got it last? Okay, he's coming. Yeah, I got to give this stuff back. Okay, and it's including you and your body. You going to have to go. Yeah, and just like Exodus, some folk ain't going to want to leave Egypt. They ain't going to want to change their ways. They, they, they're they steadfast and held tight into the lifestyle that they're living in and the, amongst the people they're living with. And so they ain't gonna change, and we we ain't really here trying to talk to them because they they already stuck. Mm -hmm. God but, says that uh, they're gonna you're gonna be able to see it's gonna be a deciding line, okay? Those that are with him and those are not, because they like now you see these, uh, you know they coons now, <laughs> but you see them out there caping and stuff, and you're like, what's wrong with these people? They actually doing this crazy stuff, and they still saying you need these people. Do we need? white people to help do we need white people to help yes we do um it's hard van because i understand the frustration but i think if you sit with where the frustration comes from and i even heard it in your remarks it really comes from um not wanting to be hurt anymore you know mm -hmm. right like it's like you know you put this expectation out there because somebody made a commitment they don't honor that commitment. That doesn't feel good. So I understand that. But I also have to acknowledge, um, speaking of Papa Rai, um, being raised around someone who was all the way and always about a rainbow coalition. You know, he tells you to separate. So if it goes right. contrary to his word, then you know what, who these people are. That's what he says. So you got to pick right. You know, like your grandma said, that boy down the street, he bad news. We don't want you hanging with him. Separate. Right. He he ain't no good for you. So we, uh, we don't want you going down there playing with him. It's the same way. It's the same thing. That's not evil. Well, they've been telling their people to separate from you forever. Now it's their turn. They, yeah. You won't have to separate. And you got to get put back. If, if somebody got caught taking something out the pot or out your spot, Okay, they did not only need to apologize, okay, if they broke it or tore it up, they're going to have to pay reparations, and then they're going to have to put it back where they got it, okay? That's you and your stuff. All God's pleasurable things, okay? His right. bloodline. He's got one. Two. That's it. This ain't the time to be scared or fearful or none of that. This is just the time for you to pull back, look, and see what's taking place, get in your word, find out who you are, and go back to your source. And we know who that is for us. Black folk been clinging to them uh, the whole time we've been getting tore up. We still been praising and worshiping the Lord. That's where it's at for us. And so folk might not believe that. You might try to go out and do your own thing. That's fine and dead. It's already been prophesied that will happen. Mm -hmm. But for the folk who are on the fence, who know he calling you, he telling you, man, you need to straighten up. This time crazy. If you can't see stuff right now is wild i ain't nothing we can do for you he can't yeah. he can't give you no more signs than he what's said going only on now. one 
third of the people will be saved. Okay, because they you like we said, every time when he comes to get you, you gotta pick a side. <laughs> And so he said only one third is going to be saved, okay? You're going to have to go through the fire, the flames, and, and, and be tried and tested if you are not the 144. The 144 has separated themselves. They're in a place that's keeping them safe, okay? And they're trying to prophesy and tell you what's going on. What do they see? Because you still blind if you're still over there <laughs> okay you still got a little time if you're able to to try to make make moves you know right like we said sometimes it can't be physical at, at an instant or at a, a, a drop of a dime but you have to separate spiritually and mentally and and pull back and like we say once you do that and you repent and start rocking and rolling like you're supposed to and stay out of that that foolishness. What kept us jammed up so long is foolishness. That's why you, the police pull you over, beat you upside the head, all kind of stuff, because we was in a bunch of Abusive foolishness. Abusive relationships. Yes, and fooling with a wild folk. Yeah. Now we everybody starting to see you. Oh man, that's not us. Them, them folk ain't our people. Right. We behaving like them. That's why we jammed up. But now we pulling out, we're getting back to our word, we know who we are as a folk, and now it's starting to pop. But y'all don't listen, you're going to be jammed up. We're just getting your Yeah, warning. you keep asking why they do, why, why, why. It's not why, yeah. it's who they are, okay? God made them a certain way. They are master of, like, weapons and master of the sword and stuff. And so they got to have to, you know, you're going to have to answer for all that. Because while you was out, you know, lost and sleep. They, you can see they're supposed to still be a brother and, and treat you right. Okay, you can still be out of the blessing, but you ain't had to get all what you got. Okay, that that was on the note. You level <laughs> up. So it's been thousands of years and stuff. Okay, 400 years you've been there, and that's time to go. That's it. That's it. We know we're beautiful people, and we talking to our folk. We ain't trying to hate on nobody else because yeah. every five minutes they'll flip the script and say, "Oh man, they they speaking hate speech or something like that." That's straight foolishness. No, I mean it says it in the Bible if you've ever read it, and it's not hate. Actually, their blessing comes from aiding and helping you along the way. Just like in Exodus, they had to go to the Egyptians and, and they get the reparations from the neighbors okay uh -huh. that was their blessing because now it's their turn they gotta go through some crap okay god said uh he's gonna make them extinct <sighs> but in the meantime they have to age you okay they they that's their blessing okay for the time that they're in the tribulation and um yeah they're gonna try to cleave to judah so some people need help of course so um it's just tough right and don't sit around and consume all that fear talk all that uh doom and gloom all that type of thing if you just get in your word seek the good lord you'll see everything quite clearly and you'll know exactly what's going on yes if a folk trying to bribe you and push you through fear you already know some ain't legit by yeah that. you too legit nah, too nah, it ain't legit <laughs> anyway Exactly. You are the army of the dead. The dry bones. That's you. God raises the army. And what's your weapon is the word. His word. Okay. You got to sound a trumpet. Dun, 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 dun. And you got to call and scream out for him. If my child is in the other room and he's playing with a bunch of other kids. Okay. And he's crying out. I know like what kind of cry he's got. Okay. If it's like a happy, playful cry. Or if it's uh, I broke my leg kind of cry like that. Or <laughs> well, somebody bothering them kind of cry. Yeah. When you're a parent, you know that. You're very sensitive So to if that. you ain't crying out, you know, you need praying and all that stuff, that's the cry out. You call him exactly. into your life. It, it, the moment you all do that as a mass, he, what, you, what does the parent do? <laughs> ah, get, ah, yeah. What? <laughs> Stand up stuff trying to get to the kid. Okay, that's the same thing. I'll follow for do you. the same thing. That's why they're trying to beat you up quietly. <clears throat> Don't tell you nothing. Who can get all beat up and don't say nothing? Now y'all need to cry out. Dang. Right. And it's going to take place. That's why I say I don't get all worked up. I don't get all frustrated and flustered. 
and with all that kind of stuff because the master say he got it under control. We keep telling y'all that because it's true. Some folk ain't gonna believe it. Some folks still gonna be caping for Egypt. They, they love it. They love the comforts. They love all the things that come with it. But if they had any kind of discernment, any kind of insight, they'll see stuff turned upside down. If a man telling you uh, everything look rosy and we got plenty of money and you sitting at home ain't working, I don't know how that two and two come together. Hmm. So, something off a little bit. Well, stuff got to go according to his plan. And, and now he said he going to light stuff on fire. It ain't going to go out. It won't be <laughs> quenched. Okay, he going to burn that place down. Yeah, you're going to have earthquakes, all kind of stuff. Yeah, they call it climate change. The climate is, he's reversing, he's changing who's in order, who's in power. And it's right. not them no more. Okay? There's definitely a shift taking place. Yeah, so, the reset is, is the climate is is you. You, you the climate. Can you please call out that? Yeah, just like she said earlier, the Lord said, my people shall perish for lack of knowledge. Yeah. So if you're sitting around, you're consuming a bunch of foolishness, and for people who you know, all of a sudden, everybody care about you. They want to make sure you get your health game You'll up. You'll get that beer. We, we got stuff that we can give you that's going to make you feel real good, but ain't never did nothing for you but beat you across the head. You ought to be a little suspicious. Well, also, he says in the time of Egypt and Exodus that uh, while Moses is up there pleading for the people and stuff, they crying and Moses like, please, Moses, stop, shut up. We don't stop getting worse. OK, so they actually I think it's in Jubilee. And if you read Apocrypha and the Jubilee and all these other uh, um, texts, it actually gives you more detail on what's in the what's in the Bible. It goes like deep in the story. And it says that. The Pharaoh actually uh, made the the, the um, Hebrews have to do more harder work in order to make the blocks and the bricks okay, yeah. get, to get the quota. So when they couldn't get enough straw, okay, because it wasn't enough hours in the day, they told them to take their babies and use it as filler <clears throat> for the straw. So imagine all this, most trying to plead for you, stuff getting hard now, you have to throw your kids in the flame in order to make up enough blocks. So... My thing is, yes, children do need to go to school, but uh, making them susceptible while you not around to watch them is is it's kind of risky now. Yes, use some discretion. Don't be silly. Don't just go out there taking everybody word for everything. That's just like now, me and my wife on here talking to y'all. Just pick up your word, pray, open your heart up, repent, and all that need to come your way will come he will make sure you get the right knowledge and the spirit come in but folk you know ain't never had your back all of a sudden starting to tell you they got stuff for you they got stuff for your children I'm trying to show the, your kids devil worshiping yes homosexuality as an infant like. so that's why we're here today we just want to encourage our folk re remain diligent stay steadfast but definitely separate be still and cleave to the master because he is our source as a folk.